Yo, what up? It's your boy, Mr. Locario, the bad boy of the dating game. What's good? So I got an email from a subscriber, and this subscriber sent a donation, so thanks for your donation. And remember, guys, if you want to guarantee that your question will be answered, make sure you click the link below and send a donation, all right? So this one says, hey, Mr. Locario, I'm a broke 20-year-old college student from Boston, Massachusetts. I did a 15-minute consultation and watched your videos, and I have improved a little with my game. My situation is I don't understand how much effort it, it is supposed to take to have sex with a girl i've talked to girls for months and got friend zoned uh and milked for attention and i've also had one night stands right after meeting girls i'm not the type of guy to give minimum effort in things as a matter of fact i'm the type to put in too much um i'm not getting with girls i know getting with girls takes time and effort but if i can fuck right after meeting them how much effort does it really take I want to know how much effort I should actually put in to get sex from a girl. All right, so it's the thing. This is the thing, guys. See, what happens is this. You're always going to need to put in some type of effort when you're dealing with a chick to get some sex. It could be a little bit of effort, a little bit of effort. It could be a lot of effort, but you got to put in some effort. Even if you're having a one night stand, there's still some effort you put into you know, dealing with that chick. Even if you were just talking to a chick for 10 minutes and then you're like, hey, come back to my spot and she <laughs> did it, you still had to put in those 10 minutes of effort, right? Um, but the thing is this, if you want to have more situations like that where you're putting in the least amount of effort, so instead of like waiting a few weeks or a month to have sex with a girl or whatever and you can just like get it that night or whatever it is like that, you have to be more well-versed in the game. Right, You have to understand this. See, guys who are advanced in the game, guys who study the game, guys who go out there and really practice and make shit pop, those guys end up knowing how to do that consistently. You understand? So what that means is, is that a guy who's advanced can go out you know, on a weekend or whatever, and eight or nine times out of ten, he'll be able to pull a chick that night. He'll be able to have sex with a girl that night. Why? Because he knows what he's doing. You understand? His game is tight. See, when your game is not tight, when you're more of like a beginner, you're a novice, you don't really know what's going on, what happens is you'll probably get in situations where, like you were saying, you would have a one-night stand, but it's not consistent. So you were in a situation where you maybe ran into a girl who was just feeling you for whatever reason, and she was like, all right, yeah, let's make it happen. But in order for you to replicate that, you need to know how to, to do that. You need to be on top of your game. And what happens is that there's a lot of guys out there who are not on top of their game. Therefore, they, they don't know how to make that happen on a consistent basis. You see what I mean? This is why I tell you guys how important it is to study the game and apply it. Because what happens is, is that if you don't know this, then you're leaving things up to chance. And so what happens is you'll probably get things going on here and there. But it's not going to happen on a consistent basis. You see what I mean? And so if you want it to happen on a consistent basis, you need to know what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? And so this is what I'm trying to tell you guys is that you have to really study the game so that you can make these things happen more consistently. Because you asked, oh, how do I, you know, how much effort do I need to put in? See, the effort is going to be less because you know more shit. So, for example, you might run into a girl and because you understand the game, you can peep and realize this girl's going to waste your time. So, instead of wasting more time on her, you fall back and you talk to another girl. But if you didn't understand the game, you would have probably wasted more time with that girl. You understand? Or you might notice or see that this other girl over here is being extremely receptive to you. You know how to read her her, her her body language, her energy. You can tell, okay, this girl is being extremely receptive to me and she showed me signs that she's going to most likely make something happen sooner than later. She'll probably fuck with me tonight. And you know this because you understand the game, because you're advanced, right? But see, if you're not advanced, if you don't know this stuff, you're going to continue to waste more time and or put in even more effort to try to make shit happen, right? Because it's like this, I always say, look, a guy could talk to 100 girls and he may get one or two of them, maybe sleep with one of them, but he had to put in a lot of effort to talk to 100 because he doesn't know what he's doing. 
but he'll still come across something because he's putting in the effort. But if he knew what he was doing, right, he could talk to 100 girls and out of those 100, probably get like 30 or 40 of them, right? That's more of an advanced level. But see, that happens if you know what you're doing. And you know what you're doing when you study the game. You see what I'm saying? So when you have a lot of guys out there who think, oh, well, I'm just, you know, going to do whatever and all oh, this stuff is nothing and whatever like that. You're going to see the, the type of results you're getting based off of you not knowing what to do. You see what I mean? And this is why it's important for you to know the game, for you to study the game. This is why I tell guys, check out the books, check out the bad boy membership. Shit, even if you're not checking out my stuff, check out other people's stuff so that you can actually step up your game and really get the shit going on a consistent basis. Because you're going to be putting out way more effort if you don't know what you're doing. You understand what I'm saying? This is what I've been trying to say this for years. But a lot of times, guys, they don't want to listen to this. See, the more that you, the more you know what you're doing, the easier it's going to be and the less effort you're going to have to put in. All right? So that's pretty much it. Listen, guys, if you have any questions, click the link below and I'll holler at you later. Remember, the truth is inside you. Peace. I'm gone. Click the link below to get the ebook 60 Second Game. In this book, you learn how your confidence, verbal communication skills, appearance, response to rejection, and honesty can affect your game. Click the link below to get your copy today. Now, before you turn off this video, I want you to do three quick things. One, I want you to click the link below to send me a question. If you have a question on dating and relationships, I'll make a video about it. Two, I want you to click the link under that to get my free audio program, Undeniable Game, which teaches you seven easy to follow tips on how to really attract beautiful women. And three, I want you to click the link under that one to go to Bad Boy Membership, where you get 45 through 90 minute audio and video dating advice tutorials every month. What's up? It's dating and life coach, Mr. Locario. Go to Bad Boy Membership dot com and master the dating game by joining my bad boy membership program in this program you'll receive 45 through 90 minute easy to follow step-by-step -step dating advice tutorials that's guaranteed to help you attract date and have sex with beautiful women join the bad boy membership today by going to badboymembership.com that's badboymembership.com